Hey there internet, Keith here, and welcome to the Cars and Keith YouTube channel. And what I have in front of you here is the new Draft Tools Grand Falls G20. This is a smaller form factor than the other pressure washers that they have out. They have the 100 foot hose that's auto retractable. This is 65 foot, as you can see, it's auto retractable. This is the model that has the softer hose, which is almost kind of uber flex like. They offered me one of these as well before production, but this time around they wanted me to sign a contract and I just wasn't up to signing anything that said I had to do this or I had to do that. I just want a review product to give an honest review. This unit, they did an Indiegogo, which is kind of like Kickstarter. So I got in on like the first day. So I got a, a very steep discount for being one of the initial uh, people, I think I got like 30% off or 40% off, something like that. Looks pretty good. The form factor is better than the other ones. It's much lighter. There's two kinds out there. One's about like 230, 240. That's the version that has the uh, bad hose, the cheaper hose. I would not get that model. Spring out, pay the extra 30, 40 bucks for a $279 model and get the better hose. Believe me, it's worth it. So first off, the gun. It's one of those guns. I mean, I'm not a big fan of these, but this one does have an M22 14 millimeter fitting here. And you have an M22 here, which means this is adaptable to be better. And it's not like the proprietary connections. These are very common connections. Comes with a wand, comes with four nozzle tips. You have your red, green, white, and orange. That's your zero degree, your 25 degree, your 40 degree, and your 15 degree. These are 1.9 orifices. So this is gonna be a good bit of pressure. So I wouldn't use these to wash your car. I would use the one that I show you here in a little bit. So to screw together, you have to get a little bit of tension there. And then you have your nozzle pieces you take off and then they'll hook in the back here. This cool little thing right here. This just is making a little bit too long for say washing a car, but during your uh, side of your house, your uh, driveway, concrete, whatever, this is actually not bad because it helps you reach areas that you can't reach with just a shorter one. So it comes with an inlet hose, pretty decent quality rubber, it's about six foot. These are aluminum that are coated to look brass, but these are not brass. It actually comes with a pretty decent foam can. The problem is the bottle is too small, but overall it is your normal Amazon uh, or a lower end manifold with the screw top on plastic. You have your quarters quick disconnect here on the end that allows you to connect to the end of your spray gun. It not only has the ability to go from stream to fan spread, you can change it from vertical to horizontal. So it's got a little bit of a uh, click here to do that. And then if you go past that and you just keep going, you can change your angle. This is just like any other. You could take this end out and change the orifice inside to get better foam. Uh, it's GFCI, a nice little cord right here. It looks like about 14 gauge, maybe 12 gauge. Comes with anchors and lag bolts. These anchors and lag bolts are much better than the ones I had gotten before. The ones before were too small and I used my own. But if you were going to anchor this into concrete, I would use concrete anchors and concrete screws. If you were gonna put this in drywall, I would use the drywall anchors that have the butterfly that kind of goes up against the back of the drywall to give you a little bit more. You have your instruction booklet, and with all of them, always clipped to instruction booklet is a little bitty pin here. That right there. This allows you to clean out your nozzles. A few people that have commented on my videos and asked me what happened, and that was the problem. They thought the pressure washer was broken, it wasn't working right. No, it was just a little bit of debris caught in that nozzle. Well, that's everything that comes with it. Now, let's show you what we could do to make this better. So, upgrades wise, I say, let's you want to do as little as possible, but you want the experience to be a little bit better. Well, for about $10, you can get one of these. This is a M22 14 millimeter two quarter inch quick disconnect. Basically, it's this shortened up to be that long. You put that in there, and then you can take your nozzle, and you have a shorter gun. Much more controllable, much easier to use. Now on your spray gun, it connects like this with your hose, 14 millimeter hose. 
And this stopper right here was way down here, but I loosened it up and moved it all the way up. I don't want that hose dangling. I want it to be as far in as possible. And that's how you would normally hook it up and spray. But let's upgrade that to be a quick disconnect. You don't want this hooked up all the time. So we upgraded to one of these, the M22 14 millimeter to three inch quick disconnect. That'll screw right in there. And then on the gun side, you put one of these, M22 14 millimeter to three inch male. So we'll plug that in right there. And then we connect them up. So when you're done, reel this all the way in. And then you can set your gun back here or wherever you want. This also sets you down the road if you want to, or you want to go all out to begin with. And then you can work your way down towards aftermarket guns. MTM, SGS 28, Essential Washer. This is probably my second best pick because the quality of the materials here is quite good and the swivel is really good. The MTM is just the easiest pull out there. It takes no effort at all. This takes a little bit more effort, but it fits your hand really well. So you'd have one of these, you have your quick disconnect at the end of this, and there you go. I don't know if you've noticed it already. I left it out there so I could tell you at the end. You see the little name tag? It's not even in the slot. It was just like placed right there. So let's see if we can pop that off where it should be. Right there, nice little metal plate. Actually on the Amazon listing, they do not state pressure or flow. Very, very smart. But on their website, they say it has a 2200 PSI max. I don't know. 2.4 GPM max flow. I mean, if you hook the garden hose up to the front of it and let it run straight, maybe. Uh, rated flow of 1.4 GPM. That is much uh, better. 2075 rated pressure. I don't know. We'll find out. Weight, it's about 35 to 40 pounds, so it's not bad. It's much lighter than the other ones. So it is a cold water only pressure washer, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, nothing from the hot water heater on this one. Uh, it's rated 1800 watts, which is 15 amps. So that's one thing we need to get into is using the proper wire for an electric pressure washer. This is where people make the biggest mistake. So this is rated 15 amps. So when you run 15 amps, if you're less than 50 feet, you can run a 14 gauge wire. If you're going over 50 feet, you need to be at a 12 gauge wire. Just about every person out there who uses a extension cord at their house, it's a 16 gauge wire. It does not have enough uh, electrical current and the drop rate is much higher as it goes in length and you're not supplying enough power to the unit, which if you underpower a motor, could damage it but also you have worse performance you're not going to get the pressure that you're looking for or anything like that so in this video we are using a big 12 gauge cord here it's only about 20 feet long so uh, very short should be more than enough but that's why in the instructions a lot of these companies say do not use an extension cord it's not because you can't it's because people don't use the right ones you have rollers kind of like a really nice winch on a truck that has these rollers on each side so you can pull it this way, this way, this way without putting any stress on the hose and also making it easier to retract back from any angle rather than being dead straight. The original one, you had to hold it dead straight to get it to feed properly. You had to really guide it. These now, these, they've gotten way better on their retracting technology. So I'm gonna test this with my adapter here. This changes no performance whatsoever. It just makes it shorter, it makes it easier. I don't feel like using that long one. Much better design for the inlet hose than the other ones. People have had some issues, and I had some initial issues as well with some of their hookups for the inlet hose area. This is much more solid. The other ones I had to really crank down. We'll see if we can just hand tight this without leaking. No leaks, that's pretty good. That's better than all the other ones. I'm gonna leave the Quick Connects in there as well. We're gonna run this with the Quick Connect setup. Uh, it's not gonna change performance at all. Oh, is that like I said, this is one of those much nicer, softer, it's not as pliable as say Uber Flex, but this is way better and it's gonna kink and leak way less than the other ones. We need water through it until we get all the air out. There's 65 foot of hose in there. You can hear. So we have a 40 degree right here. Turn it on, see what kind of noise it makes. Not bad, not bad. 
let's, uh, let's do it a few times. Not bad. That's a pretty good spray, and the nozzle's doing a nice fan spread. It's not like concentrated at the ends. It's nice and uniform all the way across. That is more than enough pressure to wash a car. So it starts out, creeps up into the 1600 range, and then just slowly built up all the way up to 1700. Car wash, guys. I'm thinking 3.0. Like 1025. Now that right there is spot on what you want for a car wash. Close quarters. <laughs> Good old bucket test. This is the stock uh, orifice, so the 1.9. I'm just gonna put a timer on here and then we're just gonna run it for one minute. Here we go. Was shaking the whole cart. The water was swishing back and forth. Some water got leaked on the top of there. Pour that in. Let it settle and see what we got. So stock, we're already over 1.25. I say we're at like 1.3 uh, gallons per minute. That's pretty good stock. All right, let's do 3.0. And here we go. A little bit of leakage on top. Definitely way more than stock. Dead between one and a half and 1.75. So like 1.62 gallons per minute. That is some really good numbers. It smells pretty good. I'm not gonna go using an MJJC or anything like that. We're just gonna use what's here. Full max setup. I'm using the shorter wand, which is really gonna save you if you're wanting to use this to wash a car. Uh, Think about this at the end of a wand way out here. Think about how much stress that is to hold that. And you gotta hold it with two hands. <laughs> and this is G-Technic uh, W4 Citrus Foam. So this is what I've used in all of my foam can reviews. It's not the soap that I necessarily use now, but it is a great soap. I use DIY Details Incredible Suds, so it's foams even more than that for that amount. But this is. About 50 milliliters in here because normally it's 100 milliliters for a bigger foam cannon. This is a 500 milliliter bottle, so it's about half that. Look at that. That's pretty dang good. Now let's show you up close rinsing off as well. Here we go, 3.0 tip. I'm quite impressed. Well, we're outside. Uh, I have my four lag bolts. I really don't want to show you how I did all that because I don't want to be responsible if something happens to yours. Uh, but I drilled some pilot holes. I got the lag bolts in. Uh, if you're trying to put this in a four x four, it's not going to work. Uh, you need at least a six by six. I got my trusty cart so that way I don't have to lift it off the ground. We should go in these holes because I used the template. No way. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit extra with the rubber mallet to get it in those slots. Those lag bolts are like just almost too big for the slot, but that's good because you want to keep it nice secure on the bracket. Now these are half inch lag bolts and you're definitely going to need to use a wrench at the end to get that last little bit. It's just too tight of quarters to really get tight with the drill. This ain't going nowhere. Looks pretty good. It tracks out. It's pr I mean, it, it's stout against uh, the wood here, it does move because it's just a little notch, so it sits on a swivel, so it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to stay perfect. Do uh, all the way over. So it's not exactly 180 degrees. Yeah, really like 150, 60 degrees. It does go all the way to the side, but it doesn't stay there. It, it wants to go back. I'm using the 40 degree tip that comes with the unit. It's a 1.9. 
Uh, that's where we got our 1600 up to 1700 PSI. This should be the least cleaning ability of all of the nozzles. The 15 degree and the 25 degree are going to clean better. It's fine now. Shine a light on there so you can see the defined line. It's just way too dark for the camera. But you see we got a good bit of that uh, mold mildew that gets on there. These haven't been pressure washed in bright in years. All right, let's see how it does on the porch here where it comes through the deck and you see where the water drops and where it, you know, gets its growth in this mold and mildew. Let's see the 40 degree. Now this is where the wand extension is gonna come into play. So if you had a longer wand, you could get a lot closer. Let's try this pulling at angles while it's anchored to its middle point. Like it's on the middle point now, but you see how much play we have, right? So if I want to pull, does it put much stress? Not really. What about going back in? This is really, I mean, you pull it out, it clicks, it stops, pull it in, let it do its own thing. Don't let it go flailing up in there. You can use your gun hold it like this and just guide it in obviously it's locked right now pull it there we go so now let's turn it to where we're going which is going to make it even easier because we're pulling straight out and so like I said, go right in boom so i was at the home depot one time with my wife and uh started rolling out saying you know i need a i need an extra long tape tape measure you're never going to use that. You'll never use that. Here we go. That, my friends, is 63 feet. It's never going to be what it says it is because there's always that hose is 65 feet long, but they leave two foot of it inside around and then hooked up to the the water pressure line. So 63 foot is actually pretty good. Sometimes things, some of these are off five to 10 feet. This right here proves how convenient an auto retract is because this doesn't have one. Well, there you go. It got a little hot outside. You can see I'm a little sweaty. It mounted great. It was solid. Overall, the build quality is pretty good. Obviously the nameplate didn't go where it's supposed to. So would I recommend this? I think so. Like I said, longevity, I just don't know yet. And I probably won't use it enough to be able to let you know based off of somebody that would use it all the time. I've got my own equipment here on the wall. I'm doing this for review. So don't forget to check out the links below. Check out carswithkey.com. Keep checking that giveaway. There may be something coming up soon. Browse the website as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. These are... <laughs> Grade two, whoa. So testing wise, we are going to check PSI and, all right, uh, we're going this. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Always happens, always happens. So don't forget to check out the links below. So don't forget to check,